This is the PacWest Spotlight. Here's Ryan Waters. James Casaroso from the UBC Okanagan Heat Golf Team joins us now in the PacWest Spotlight. Fifth and final year for you. Nerve-wracking that it's your last year? Uh, not really. It's exciting. Like, yeah. I'm going to miss it, but I'm excited to be done and see what the next, next chapter will hold. Do you have the farewell tour? You know, some of these athletes, they, they go out in style where they go to every venue and they tip their hat and all that. Is there a farewell tour for you? I'm not really. I don't know <laughs> if I'm high profile enough for that. I don't know if too Come many on. people are going to be missing me on the PacWest tour. Um, probably just my coach. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Do you do anything differently, though? When you go to a, a course, you're like, this could be the last time I play this course. No, I feel like I'm really bad for that. I'm not that kind of guy that captures moments very well until like it's happened and I'm like, oh, I probably should have like really thought about that more. <laughs> no, and I think that could be a good thing with golf. Like I'm almost, uh, I'm ignorant to the fact that it's a big moment almost. Yeah. Like I, I don't realize it until it's happened. And I'm like, oh, it's over. Yeah. That, that was actually a big moment or that was a big <laughs> putt that actually meant something until, yeah, I don't try and think about it too, too much. Well, what's your biggest moment now that you've had a chance to reflect a little bit? Has been, has there been a, in any time in your career, has there been a big moment? I would say last year was um, our last tournament. We played at Morningstar and the first day I played pretty well and shot 77, which I was like, really upset with I was like really? I was like I hit the ball good today and only shot 77 like I was pretty I felt pretty defeated and I went out on the range the next day and I looked over at Cass our coach and I hit like maybe five or six shots I was like today's gonna be a special day he's like I know and I was like no I'm serious and he's like I believe you and shot 66 bogey free that day and wow. got myself all Canadian status yeah. by one or two shots. Well, good congratulations. So that, was, that was the big one for me, I would yeah. say, yeah. By the way, a 77, I would kill for a 77. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, was, I, I wasn't too happy with it, but yeah. again, I, I didn't feel like I played that bad. It was just the course kind of beat me up that day, and then next day, next day I took advantage, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Made a couple more putts. How about a hole-in-one? Ever had a hole-in-one? I've, I've got four. Four hole-in-one? Yeah. Like big people golf? Or big, mini golf? Uh, big people golf, wow. yeah. Um, Take me through that. What was your first one? First one, I was in grade 10. It was on a par 4 at my home oh. course. Um, I didn't hit it well. Hit driver, hit, kicked off the back of the bunker, rolled up, went in. I like lost my mind. That's the only one I really <laughs> lost it on. Um, oh, this is your first? That was my first, yeah. And then uh, with the next year, within the year, hit one, hit a good 7 iron. Sure enough, went in, and then wow. this year I got two, so. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Are they extra, are they less special, I guess? Because, eh, you know, I hit, you know, I've hit four now. No, they're, all, <laughs> they're always pretty special, but you, yeah. you got to play it off like, all right, like, <laughs> you know, I've had one before. I, um, I also feel like, too, like, I've learned kind of, the more I react to it, the worse I play after. So I've tried to be like, oh, okay. get excited about it after the round. Like, yeah. can't believe that just happened, like, but after the round. Yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah, if you get too emotionally invested in it, it, golf's a game that like, if you get too high or too low, it can, it can kind of bite you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have to do something before every shot, every round? Like, are you a superstitious guy where you, you know, you have to take a, a swing, a practice swing, two practice swings every shot? I usually only take about two practice swings, sometimes one. If it, if it's a shot I really feel like I have to feel out, I'll take like four or five. Okay. To kind of, if it's like a wedge shot around the green or something like that. Um, I have to line up and go through my putting routine every single time um, okay. if I'm going to play well. Yeah. Um, what about that, mini golf? Because that's a, that's a putting game. Uh, mini golf, I'm more like Happy Gilmore. I'm a little more loose out there. I make it up as I go. <laughs> um, a lot of Happy Gilmore references out there. Yeah. So, yeah. Favorite club? Right now, it's probably three iron. Okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun to hit. It hasn't always been the three iron, though? No, I didn't. I put a three iron in the bag this year and made a little couple modifications to it and it's it's easy to hit it's fun to hit um yeah longest drive you've had you know i don't know like i don't i've never really measured a distance i've had a couple where i'm like whoa how did it get there um <laughs> rock and, yeah it must have hit a sprinkler head or something but no I, I don't really record how far i've i've hit it um nothing comes to mind modest. you're being modest yeah i don't know i don't know i've never Hacked. Nothing comes to mind. Yeah. One thing people don't know about you is what? 
Uh, a couple people know this, but I absolutely love to sing. Really? In the in the car, in the shower, yeah. In, what, but what about in front of people? Never. Like teammates at UBCO? No, just, uh, Cass. Cass has heard me sing a few times. Really? Yeah. And has he told you to stop? No, he usually sings with me. Um, yeah. <laughs> you guys have a, a duet going. We, we, we sing for about four hours driving to Vancouver, take a break on the ferry, and yeah. then another two hours, like, getting to our next destination. Do you, yeah. have, a, you have a playlist? Um, you and Kaz in the car? I kind of Four just, hours is a long time. Yeah, we throw the iPod on shuffle. He tells me no country, and uh, that's pretty much the only rule. <laughs> do you have a go-to song? Like, when you want to impress Kaz, you say, okay, I'm, I'm going to nail this one? Probably, probably Buble. Buble or uh, really? Justin Timberlake will, will sing. JT? Yeah, JT. He's a good wow. guy. He's uh, a good <laughs> guy. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't know that about you, so yeah. uh, congratulations. You want to give a little rendition right now? I do not. No, no. Well, thanks for doing this. Good luck this year. Uh, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. James Casaro, sir, for UBC Okanagan Heat. He's in the Pac West Spotlight.